In retrospect, it's very easy to assume that the victory of the Union in the Civil War was inevitable. But it didn't necessarily seem that way as the war was going on. This week we will look at the years 1863 and 1864. In 1863, the Union Army won significant victories at Gettysburg, at Vicksburg. Many people felt the Confederacy was on its last legs, but it didn't really work out that way. By 1864, the momentum of the Union Army seemed to have stalled. Tremendous casualties were being incurred in Virginia as a result of General Ulysses S. Grant's campaign against uh, Robert E. Lee's forces, and war weariness became a major factor uh, in Northern public opinion. By August 1864, President Lincoln feared he would not be reelected because people were getting uh, tired of the war. The whole question of emancipation was now again back on the national agenda. Um, so we have to look at this crisis of the Union of 1864 and then how uh, Sherman's victory at Atlanta and the re-election of President Lincoln kind of eased the crisis and we end up with the passage of the 13th Amendment in January 1865 which irrevocably abolished slavery throughout the entire nation.